Hello, welcome to the Peaceful Wood Turner. This is a piece of black locust that I got from, well, from behind my in-laws house up in the Rhode Island area. Black locust apparently was planted a lot up there um, just because they were using it for shipbuilding long ago. And well, it's about time for a lot of them to die. So they started dropping, especially in storms and stuff like this. And it's a hardwood. It's a really nice wood. I love the grain that's going on in this. I don't think it's going to maintain this color uh, as time goes on, but I kind of like that too. So I decided one of the first things I should make of it is something for my in-laws. And so I'm going to make them a pepper mill. Uh, I got a little kit from a turning supply store. Never tried making something from a kit before. So I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start by just finding the center and turning this down to round. As always, this is found wood. Be careful with found wood. I cut this myself from pieces that were already down. And I've since had it for a while, letting it dry and everything else. And I've been over it a bunch of times. There's no nails, there's no screws, there's no wires, but there still could be something in it that I'm not aware of. So I need to be careful and I'm going to be. Make sure you're careful with anything that you're turning as well. Start by just roughing this down to round, and then I'll cut the length. Actually, then I'll probably put it into a chuck and drill it before cutting the length. That way I don't get any uh, marks and stuff on my final piece, because I'm going to make marks anyway. This is going to be nice. This is already a half decent finish, not a good finish, but you know, a lot of tool marks and everything else from just a moderately sharp, not quite sharp enough, a spindle gouge. This is going to turn really nice. I'm excited. So I've cut it off, smoothed the end a little bit, and I've marked where the end of my blank should be. So now I'm going to start drilling it out. I'm going to start with just a half inch spiral bit to take a large amount of meat out kind of fast. And then I'll start drilling with the specific sizes that are needed. drilled, we're switched around so that we're actually chucked internally now, and I'm going to start just profiling and everything else. I have about a quarter inch that I can take off of the ends uh, if need be, but I'm not looking to do that. I did some playing around when I was parting off the uh, excess over here, and this wood is fun to turn. So hopefully I can do a good job with it and do it some justice.
that's sanded down to a 320 with the mineral oil. And I think I want to sand it a little bit more, just take it a little bit finer while I think about what kind of finish I want to put on it. Now here's the fun thing, I did an experiment, a little ferrous sulfate on the, uh, the nub that I cut off after playing with it, and it turned black, oops, it turned black really fast. So if I use it on this, it's going to get really, really dark. But I'm worried I'm going to lose some of this fun figure and stuff if I do that. So you're going to have to think about that, so I'm going to sand it a little bit more. So I have consulted the wise ones of my house, and we have concluded to stick with the more natural color, just darkened a little bit with some oils and stuff. This is sanded all the way up to a 1500. It's really smooth. It's already got a nice shine to it. So the next thing to do is start putting a finish on it. I'm going to start with some boiled linseed oil and just really work that in. We have a few coats of boiled linseed oil and some beeswax on here. Uh, I do a mixture of 50-50 uh, beeswax and linseed oil that I make into a stick and put on. So that's come out really nice. Usually I get much less shine, but this actually has a nice shine to it. We'll see how it is as it settles. But the next thing to do is to take it off the chuck and just do some final cleaning up, especially on the bottom, and then put it together. I was going to do a dry fit and then show you everything going together, but it fit really well and kind of stayed in there. So I'm just putting the other pieces in and we should be able to put everything together. This rod goes all the way up through the middle. This guy goes up here. little bit convincing. So I'm going to sand that. I don't like that. I don't like that being needing that much convincing. This has got to get used. All right, that's better. I sanded it so that it could turn and everything else, which of course it needs to do. Put this little finished nut on top here. Damn. There we are. Turns nice and smooth. Just have to finish screwing the screws in here on the bottom. And there we are, that's the finished product. Now I'm gonna take it apart and just clean everything again real well. Don't wanna get any wood dust or anything in the food. Not sure what that would do to the flavor profile. But there we go. Let me know what you think. And thank you for joining me on the Peaceful Wood Turner.